Hi children, let us see the solutions for the assignment 4. So the first question about how far can a car travel in 4 hours, 4 hours if it travels with a speed of 20 kmph. So what are the things that are given? So the time given is 4 hours. Time given is 4 hours. And what is this? Speed. What is the speed? Speed is 20 kmph. So in our last class, we have understood that distance is equal to time into speed. Distance is equal to time into speed. So in here what did they ask? How far? What is the meaning of how far? Is it not distance? Yes, it is. So how far means they are asking us distance. Distance is equal to time into speed. Time is 4 hours and speed is 20 kmph. So distance that is is equal to what is 4 into 20? 4 twos are 8 and 0 that is 80 kilometers. So this car which is moving with 20 kmph will move 80 kilometers in 4 hours. Now the second one. About how far can a train travel in 10 hours if it travels with a speed of 90 kmph? How far will it travel in 10 hours? Here also what is the given? The thing that is given is time is given. What is the time? Time is 10 hours. And what is the speed given? The speed given is 90 kph and what is asked how far what is the meaning of how far what is asked is distance so here again distance is equal to time into speed distance is equal to time what is time here time is 10 hours and speed is 90 kph 10 into 90 one nine zero nine here one zero here one zero so two zeros and distance is measured in k kilometers so how much distance will it cover it will cover 900 kilometers if that train is moving with a, a speed of 90 kmph thank you hi children in this video we are trying to understand about speed distance and time. In the chapter The Fish Tail in your textbook, it is very nicely written about the lifestyle of the fishermen. How they lead their life when the sea is very rough, what are the difficulties they face. You can refer your textbook to see the different types of boats they use. So a fish tail chapter may have textbook may both achieve कि एक फिशरमैन का लाइफस्टाइल क्या होता है वो कैसा रहता है कितने टाइप का बोट्स रहता है उन लोग के पास और वो कितने तक हाउ मच डिफिकल्टी दे फेस व्हेन द सी इज वेरी टफ सो इन द सेम वे एज देयर आर मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ बोट्स दे आर प्रेजेंट विद देम लाइक देयर इज अ बोट व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ लॉग्स दे टेक ऑल द लॉग्स एंड टाई देम व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ लॉग बोट एंड if there is a machine or a motor kept in that boat, that boat is called as a motor boat. The same way, there are so many different types of boats and different types of boats will travel with different speeds. Because if it, it is a motor boat, it has motor fixed in it, so it will move with a little higher speed. And do you know why the fishermen go into the sea? Of course, to catch fish. आप लोगों को पता ही है कि कि फिशरमैन सी में क्यों जाते हैं मछली पकड़ने के लिए जाते हैं तो एक ट्रिप लगाने के लिए एक फिशरमैन को कितना स्पीड से जाती है वो बोट और वो कितनी केजी का मछली पकड़ता है दैट्स व्हाट इज गिवन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग हियर टाइप ऑफ बोट इफ दे आर गोइंग इट इन लॉन्ग बोट इन वन ट्रिप एक ट्रिप अगर वो कंप्लीट कर दिया एक जगह से गया और फिर वही जगह पे शोर पे आया तब तक 
वो ट्वेंटी किलो का फिश पकड़ लेते हैं मीन्स इन वन ट्रिप दे कैन कैच ट्वेंटी के जीस ऑफ फिश एंड विथ वॉट स्पीड द बोट लॉक बोट विल गो लॉक बोट विल गो विथ स्पीड ऑफ फोर किलोमीटर पर आवर इट कैनॉट मूव विथ मच हायर स्पीड बिकॉज लॉक बोट इज ओनली मेड अप ऑफ लॉक्स एंड वी नीड टू खुश दट वॉटर बैकवर्ड देन ओनली द बोट विल मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड वेन द सी इज वेरी रफ इट इज रियली टफ फॉर द फिशरमैन टू गो ऑन ए लॉक बोट so now when these things are given there are different types of questions that are asked based on this like if the log boat is going with a speed of 4 km per hour if it has to travel 10 km today the one the fisherman who is going on log boat thought that he want to travel for 10 km then how much time will he take If you want to travel for 10 kilometers, how much time will he take? What is time? 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers is nothing but the distance. Distance is 10 kilometers. How much time will he take? Then what speed is it going? The boat is going with a log boat is going with a speed of 4 kilometers. Now tell me how how we can do with this? If it is going with a speed of 4 kilometers, what is the meaning of 4 kilometers per hour? फोर किलोमीटर का पर आवर का मतलब क्या है हमने पहले समझा है कि फोर किलोमीटर का फोर किलोमीटर पर आवर का अर्थ है कि इट कवर्स फोर किलोमीटर इन वन आवर इसका अर्थ क्या है कि वो चार किलोमीटर एक आवर में कवर करता है अगर चार किलोमीटर एक आवर में कवर करता है सो इन वन आवर इफ इट इज गोइंग फोर किलोमीटर इट वॉन्ट टू कवर हाउ मेनी किलोमीटर टेन किलोमीटर so in one more hour how many kilometers it will cover in one more hour it will cover four more kilometers but what is 4 plus 4 8 then how many kilometers it want to cover it want to cover 10 kilometers then how many kilometers are left agar wo 10 kilometer cover karna cha raha hai to ek hour mein 4 kilometers cover kiya dusre hour mein 4 kilometers cover kiya 4 plus 4 kitna ho gaya 8 ho gaya to 8 ko kitna add karne se 10 10 hoga 8 को 2 किलोमीटर से ऐड करने से टन होगा अगर एक आर में 4 किलोमीटर कवर कर रहा है तो 2 किलोमीटर कवर करने के लिए कितना समय लगेगा यह हमको सोचना है सो इफ इट इज टेकिंग 4 किलोमीटर इन वन आवर इन वन आवर इफ इट इज कवरिंग 4 किलोमीटर देन फॉर कवरिंग 2 किलोमीटर हाउ मच टाइम विल इट टेक फोर और टू में क्या रिलेशन है फोर को क्या करने से टू आएगा फोर को हाफ करने से टू आएगा ये लोग हमको पता है कि नहीं है वी ऑल नो दिस दैट हाफ ऑफ फोर इज टू सो एक किलोमीटर में अगर फोर किलोमीटर फोर एक आवर में अगर फोर किलोमीटर कवर कर रहा है तो दो किलोमीटर कवर करने के लिए कितना समय लगेगा ये हाफ से मल्टीप्लाई किया तो यहां पर भी हाफ से मल्टीप्लाई करना है हाफ आवर में कंप्लीट करना है इसके मतलब अगर 10 किलोमीटर जाना है तो ये टू एंड हाफ आवर्स टू एंड हाफ आवर्स का टाइम लगेगा सो इफ द लॉक बोर्ड इज गोइंग विथ स्पीड ऑफ फोर किलोमीटर पर आवर हाउ मच टाइम विल इट टेक टू कवर 10 किलोमीटर इट विल टेक टू एंड हाफ आवर्स टू कवर 10 kilometers this is what we need to understand from this and apart from this if a log boat has to travel let us suppose aur ek question diya gaya hai aapko ki distance diya hai ki ye it want to cover 20 kilometers and it is going with a speed of what is the speed speed of the log boat is Four kilometers per hour. Hmm. How much time will it take? Come on, tell me. If it is going with a speed of four kilometers in one hour, it is going four kilometers. In the next hour, in the second hour, again it is going four kilometers. Four plus four, eight. In the third hour, again it is going four kilometers. Four plus four plus four, twelve. In the fourth hour, again it is going four kilometers. 
4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 4 fours are 16 and in the fifth hour again it is going 4 kilometers. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is 4 into 5 is equal to 20 kilometers. So you can tell that it is taking 5 hours to cover this 20 kilometers. This is one way you can do it. So this can be done in any ways, many ways. We already in our last class we have found out the relation between distance, time and speed. Isn't it? Did we find the distance the relation between distance, time and speed? Distance is equal to time into speed. So what is the distance that is given here? Distance given is 20 kilometers. How much time we don't know how much it will take and we know what is the speed already. The speed is uh, 4 kilometers. So if you take 4 how much 4 is multiplied with to get 20? 4 ko kye, kis number se multiply karne se 20 aega? So 5 se kalne se 20 aega. So the 4 into 5 is equal to 20. So time is equal to 5 hours. So this in this method also you can do it. In this method also you can do it. It is can be done in any method. So that is the relation between distance, time and speed. Many questions depending on the boats, when the boat is changing, the catch of fish will change and the speed of the boat will also change. So let us see the assignment now. Hi children, in this assignment, the details of long tail boat are given. How much will this fish boat catch in one trip that is 600 kg? and the speed of the boat is 12 km per hour. So the first question is about how far can a long tail boat go in 6 hours? About how far means how much distance will it travel if it is going for 6 hours. So we all know the relation between distance, time and speed. Distance is equal to time into speed. And the second one, if a long tail boat has to travel 60 km, how long will it take? So if it has to travel 60 kilometers, means if distance is 60 kilometers, how long means they are asking you about time. So do it and have a nice day.